today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make my favorite healthy vegetable soup. Whether you're trying to lose weight or just trying to eat a little healthier, this soup is perfect. It's low calorie, low fat, has no cholesterol, 15 grams of protein and 12 grams of fiber per serving, and tons of vitamins and minerals and all that other good stuff. Just take a look at the ingredients. And trust me, this doesn't lack in flavor. Let's head on over to the stove and get started. I have a large pot heating over medium high heat and I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, a diced white onion, and then three ribs of sliced celery. Let this saute for about five minutes until the onions start to soften. Then we're gonna start building some flavor starting with two cloves of crushed garlic, two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of ground mustard, a teaspoon of dried basil, a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper for some heat. You'll want to let this toast for one to two minutes. Toasting spices like this allows them to release their flavor so you really get some good flavor development in this soup. Then I'm going to add in two pounds of sweet potatoes that I've cut into bite-sized pieces, four cups of chicken broth. If you want to go vegan on this, you just switch it to vegetable broth. And then one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. If you're avoiding soy or trying the Whole30 challenge, substitute coconut aminos for the soy sauce. They taste very similar. Bring this to a boil and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. This soup is seriously so good for you. Not only is it tasty, which is really important to me when I'm trying to eat healthy, but every ingredient is super good for you and is full of the vitamins and nutrients that you need to really make your body feel great. After 10 minutes, we're gonna add in 15 ounces of canned black beans. Make sure you drain and rinse these before you use them in the recipe. Pour those in. And then also add in two diced Roma tomatoes. Give this a stir. Let this continue to simmer for about another five minutes until your sweet potatoes are tender. And then you're ready to eat. Thanks for watching. Please remember that eating healthy is not about starving yourself on a diet. It's about making your body feel great through a well-balanced lifestyle. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Subscribe and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.